wedding might just be gin and tonics. Absolutely. One of their favorites. It's weather again that's just so fitting for drinking a refreshing gin and tonic. Yeah, and gin and tonics are so refreshing. Oh, so absolutely. today we wanted to kind of spice up the gin and tonics, spruce mm -hmm. it up a bit with some fresh ingredients. Yes, this is so easy to make. So we're just showing you, we have one made here and it's so beautiful. It's just so nice, like sitting on a porch and drinking this, I think would be like heaven. Perfect. Heaven, heaven, perfect. Heaven on earth. Yeah. Yeah, so what we did to make this super special is we just put in some peeled cucumber, a sprig of rosemary, which is so good, and a wedge of lime. So we're muddling that with about an ounce of gin. As you can see, it just creates this awesome, like, soupy, very infused gin. I was gonna say, I think of this as like, kind of like quickly infusing your gin. Absolutely. With your ingredients. Yeah, exactly. And so you'll strain it, um, just to get all the seeds and little bits of rosemary out. So we've strained that into our glass. You can kind of see the color is already changing. Color. Yeah, and you can so, smell it. Smells amazing. And then you're going to have an extra ounce of gin and four ounces of tonic water and to pour on top. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, God. If you could just smell like the way the crushed rosemary and the lime and everything, it's just incredible. And this is so super easy, but it really kind of like shows very nicely. I know, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to garnish with one more slice of cucumber and a sprig of rosemary for the final finishing touches. And the full recipe and all the instructions are gonna be on celebrations.com for you so you can make this for yourself this spring. We yeah. hope you enjoy. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.